Welcome back to our second video dealing with your digital badge certifications. I'm Mike Fisher, EI trustee with the National Auctioneers Association. And in this video, we wanted to show you how to embed and link uh, your digital badges into an email. And these same principles can be used for web pages, uh, uh, digital marketing pieces, but we're going to do it on an email signature. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to badgecert.com, like we did in the first video. We want to go here to log in. Again, we're going to, I'm going to log in as myself. Now that I log in, here are all of my digital badges, but we're going to go again like we did in the first video. We're going to go up here and we're going to go to the Share Public Group Badges. Now what that's going to do is it's going to open up all of my badges, but it's assigning a URL up here for me. So I want to click, I'm not a robot, hit submit. So now here are my badges. And in the first video, we showed you how to drag these badges over using paint, resize those badges. So, but now what we're going to do is we're going to take these, these badges that I've now, again, they've all been uh, drug to my desktop or put into a file folder on the computer. I'm going to use these off of my desktop that have already been resized. Um, so let's do this. I'm going to show you how to do this in Microsoft Outlook. Uh, and again, most all of the mail programs are somewhat similar, uh, but we're going to we're going to do this in Outlook today because it's the most popular. All right. So in Outlook, what I want to do is I want to go up here and where I can search for help. I'm just going to type in signatures and when I go down to signature I've got two signatures specific but let's just go to signatures in general all right so what I want to do is I want to on this this signature I have I want to add in my digital badges and I want to link them okay so what I'm going to do is I want to add them let's just say I want to add them right after my telephone number I'm just going to go in and click right past the telephone number. And then I'm going to go right here to the insert images icon. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to my desktop. And here are, here are uh, three images that I'm going to add. So I'm going to click, I'm going to add the uh, CAI, uh, the AARE, and the ATS. Okay. So now I just hit insert because I've already resized these images to a vertical um, 50 pixels vertical. So I've already resized them. So when I hit insert, there they are. They are in there already. So they're, they're added in. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to link these digital badges back to my digital badge page, okay? So we're gonna go back to the digital badge page and we're going to go up and highlight that URL and we're just going to hit control C or you can click you can right click on that and hit copy then let's go back to Outlook to the signatures and I'm going to click on each one of these independently so the first one is CAI I'm going to go over here right next to the picture insert picture icon and here is a link icon I'm going to click on that and now all I'm going to do is simply down here in the address, I'm inserting a hyperlink. Don't worry about anything else on here. All I want to do is go click on the address bar and then I'm going to hit control V or, I'm, or if you don't use the shortcuts, I'm going to go to the address bar. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit paste and I'm going to hit OK. Now let's go to do the same thing for the second image. Okay, so we're going to click on it, go to the link here, paste the same address. The address is not going to change for any of these. It's all going to be to that group, uh, the badge group. Now we're going to go to the last one and we're going to, again, we're going over here to the link. We're going to paste that same web address, hit OK. Now hit OK. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go down to that email. I'm going to hit a new email. 
And now it's opened up for me to send this email. And if you'll look, there are my three badges. And when you hot, uh, hot, hover over each one of those, it'll show you where it's going to take you to. So let's just do that. So I'm going to hit control click and let's see where this takes us. It takes us to, let's do that one more time. We're going to get out of all of these. So it's going to open up something fresh. There we go. So now, it is opened up. It's linked back to my this URL, which has all of my digital badges. So now for each one of these digital badges, one of your customers or uh, prospects can click on your email, click on these digital badges, takes them here, and each one they click on gives all your certifications. And actually, uh, you can actually view the certificates um, from there. So you can click on certificate, and what it does, it actually opens up. Um, a PDF download the PDF down here so you can click on the PDF and see that yep there is my certificate for my badge um, that's pretty much it so it, you know I did it for Outlook but the same the same principles apply for uh, whether you're embedding this in uh, uh, in an email you're embedding this on a digital marketing piece all the same things apply you're just going to take the image that you have resized. You're going to drag it over, drop it into your signature. You're going to then hot link or insert a link behind that image to take you to this page. And again, remember when you go to badgecert.com and you click on login and you log in, the important step here is to remember, don't try to hot link to this page. Remember, go up here to your share group badges, and it will probably uh, ask us if you're, make sure you're not a robot, but let's let this open so I'm not a robot. Hit submit, this is the page. So this is your page that will have all of your ba digital badges on it, and that is the address up there that you're gonna want to link on any image that you use for the badges in your emails, your digital marketing pieces, that type of thing. So um, that's it. Uh, I hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.